my studies, uh, my bachelor in applied management at Otago Polytechnic, Auckland International Campus. And I apologize in advance, Chris, because I I plan my presentation for 10 minutes uh, exactly. I will try to go a bit faster for more questions. OK, so today I will introduce the project that I conducted uh, on campus with a focus on working towards the 2030 goals. The first thing that I did was uh, asking myself, how can we work towards achieving the 2030 goals? And the first step for me was to define the current situation of the campus in terms on, of sustainability, determine which area can we action on and which one of them uh, needs priority. For my data collection, I used observation, online research and literature, study of available reports. I made a survey and the most important one, meetings with stakeholders. So the first step was for me to study the reports provided by the facilities managers and having further discussion with him. And from that report, I, I found out that OPIC already action on energy saving, procurement, and waste management. Although the recycling of food waste on campus is not um, active anymore. And as a student, it was difficult for me to action furthermore on energy saving and procurement. So for that reason, I decided to focus my uh, project on waste management and more specifically on recycling, which is part of the 12 United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, uh, which is responsible conception and production. The first meeting that we had was with Reclaim, which is a company that collects waste from organizations. And our topic was recycling. And the first thing to know about recycling is that the first step to reduce potential, the, the first step is to reduce potential waste and that raising awareness of the users is very cru crucial for the whole process. In addition, the cleaning company plays a central role in the project. And of course, we needed effective recycling stations. We also talked about the recycling week, which took place last week. And we discussed about the different action that we could implement on campus for that event. The next thing that I did was studying um, more the waste management at OPEIC. And with observations and further discussions with the facilities manager, I could say that the recycling process was unclear. In fact, although we already had three different bins to sort paper, recyclable items, and general waste, uh, I could say uh, I found out that paper was indeed re uh, collected by Reclaim. However, for the recyclable items and general waste, they were uh, gathered in the same rubbish bag at the end of the day and collected by Auckland Council as general waste. So, sorry. So basically, the only material that was collected as um, any recycled on campus was paper, which was for me an uh, important uh, serious issue that we needed to assess urgently. I decided to investigate more about the cleaning company. And even though they already claimed that they requested the adequate bags to sort the recyclable items for, from the council, my observations show that their performances do not meet OPIC requirements. But despite that, uh, we decided to run a recycling station trial on level one. We applied the plan to check act model we monitored the waste daily and then we communicated with the users. So the first step was to improve the rubbish bin signs. And after some research on Reclaim and Auckland Council website, I, de I designed uh, multiple uh, potential signs and we decided to keep those three. The second step was to monitor the waste stream. And by doing that, we noticed that even after the improved signs on the rubbish bins, some items were thrown in the wrong one. So for that reason, we decided to communicate more with the users 
the first step was um, the, the facilities managers sent emails to the team members in order to let them know about the ongoing trial. The second, the second step was uh, we made a presentation during the orientation day to the new student in order to introduce them to recycling on campus. During this presentation, we introduced the different uh, rubbish bin signs and we explained why it was important for us to improve the recycling capacity of the campus. The, thir the third thing that I did was presentations to a group of, stu of students. Um, and my, my goals here was first to outline the, my different aims uh, for my project, um, introduce the recycling station guidelines to the students, raise awareness on recycling, I also shared interesting facts and tips on how to reduce waste in general. And I also tried to grow the interest of the students with the hope for them to continue my project after I finish my studies. For my survey, I could say I could see that most of the participants of my survey were aware of the different plastic types that are on the market and which one of them are easier to recycle. And despite some confusion, uh, most of them knew the difference between compostable and biodegradable. And from that point, I could say that this group of students has a strong base to successfully sort waste on campus. But when, it when I try to go into further details, I could say that, for example, they do not know how long it takes for plastic to break down into landfills. As we can see here, on only 44% of them replied the right answer. And when it comes to reusable items, uh, the opinions about them is was really, they were really different from one another. So from that point, I could also say that they are not aware of the real impact of single use plastic on the environment and the existing alternative uh, ex here in New Zealand. So I started to design some contents that could be shared to staff and students in order for them to expand their knowledge about the different alternatives available in New Zealand and especially in Auckland. The last thing that we did was a meeting with Reclaim, another one. This time it was with a focus on re-enabling food waste collection on campus. The first thing that we need to do in order to complete this project is purchase the adequate beans. If uh, display the signs effectively, raise awareness of the users again, and most importantly, um, ensure the full collaboration of the cleaning company, especially for food waste. For my conclusion, I could say that the recycling capacity of the, com of the campus is currently very low and that the performance of the clinic company do not meet OPIC requirements. And for the reason that they are very important for the whole project, it just added more challenges to, to, the, oper to the whole operation. And, and again, you, we need to raise users' awareness about that topic. So for my recommendation, I will say that we need to first re-enable food waste collection on campus by buying the purchase and, uh, purchase the adequate beans, display the signs effectively, educate the users with the help of Reclaim and ensure the full collaboration of the cleaning company. We also need to monitor the performance of the cleaning company to ensure the full success of the, the project. And the biggest part of my recommendations was raise awareness of the users. And the first thing to do for me was to maintain the introduction that we did for the orientation day for every orientation days in the future. Uh, organize more workshop focusing on recycling each block, create contents promoting recycling and good practices to reduce waste and share, that to, share it to students and staff. And also my last one was to think about activities that we could uh, implement on campus during the recycling week. So my last word for my presentation is that I am very happy to have conducted this project on campus because it 
it allowed me to expand my knowledge on the topic. And I'm really proud to be part of the improvement of sustainability of Otago Polytechnic. So I'm really proud of that project and I hope that someone will take after me for that. Thank you for listening.